Now this is my uh, folding at home system. This graphics card here, it's a 2080. It has had Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut Extreme for about, yeah, just over two years actually, because I remember having this card during the mining era. <laughs> um, and uh, the temperatures are still exactly the same as when I applied the thermal paste. And the GPU is at, look at that, almost 100% load. Um, speaking of which, the CPU as well, this is a Pentium Gold, I believe it is the G6905 or something like that. Um, it's right there. And I've also deleted the CPU and added Crown Out Extreme. Um, and it's been running, this CPU here has been running for about a year um, with Cryonaut Extreme. I could have done liquid metal, but nah, it's just not necessary. It doesn't pull that much power or produce that much heat to, you know, to require a liquid metal. It's just not necessary. So Cryonaut Extreme, it, it was. And uh, as you can see, running nice and cool. However, it's not really at 100%. This is about 35, 30% uh, static, you know, usage because of the uh, application here that's running, um, folding at home. So it's, it's not really, it's, it's not actually doing any CPU folding, as you can see here. It's all doing GPU fold. I, I don't know, I'm not exactly sure how the application, how the whole thing works but it does require some CPU utilization for one year, uh, almost nonstop. I do stop the system once in a while to dust it off, but uh, it's been running solid, no degradation. And I'm pretty sure that the thermal paste by now is, is dry, but it doesn't mean that it has lost its thermal conductivity. And that's where the misconception is. Um, I keep getting comments that yeah, my thermal, my Cryonaut Extreme has uh, dried up and it's lost, con you know, it, temperatures went up and all this other stuff. Guys, I have not seen that. And mind you, this is running at, this CPU, this GPU, I'm sorry, it's running at a 100% utilization all the time. And it's been almost two years since I applied this, this thermal paste. It has not lost any thermal conductivity. The temperatures have not risen. Everything is still working. So I don't know where you guys are getting all this information from Reddit or whatever uh, about, you know, the thermal paste drying up and therefore it loses its thermal conductivity. That's not how it works. It depends on the thermal paste. Uh, Dow Corning is a, a pretty big company. I, I believe it is Intel, AMD, and most GPU manufacturers that use Dow Corning thermal paste. And the, the reason why they use this paste is not because it's the best, but because even though it'll dry up, it'll still be thermal conduct, thermally conductive. And that's because of the chemicals or the particles that are, that are in the thermal paste that make it thermally conductive even after many, many, many years of usage and many, many years of being dried up. It remains thermally conductive. Now it could be that the thermal paste is cheap, made out of cheap materials, and for that reason, it's going to lose its thermal conductivity once it dries up. That could be the case, yes, but that's not what I've had, what I have experienced with Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut Extreme. Now, mind you, Roman doesn't know that I exist, so Thermal Grizzly is not paying me to say this. I'm just telling you from my experience that this is not what I have seen. I have no idea where you guys are getting this information from, why you guys are saying this. Two years, like I said, and I keep saying two years, this, CP, this GPU here had, has had Cryonaut Extreme for two years, running almost 24 seven, and it's still rocking the same temperatures. Look at that. At 99% utilization. And the fans are not even spinning at full speed. Look at that. It's only 37% each fan. So, uh, I don't wanna keep, you know, um, beating a dead horse here. My point is, it all depends on the thermal paste. It really depends on the thermal paste, on the on the uh, quality of the thermal paste, the, the particles that the thermal paste is, is, is made out of um, that will allow it to remain thermally conductive even though it's, it has dried up because most thermal paste will dry up. It's just, an, it's just a process, that's just how it goes. Whether it continues to be thermally conductive or not, 
like I said, it depends on the quality, it depends on the make, how it is made, you know, what type of chemicals, what type of particles um, are in the uh, the thermal paste. That, that's all I have to say. Um, I hope you guys understand what I'm where I'm coming from. Um, and yeah, so I'll see you on the next one. Peace out. Bye bye.